So next we want to use all these constructs together to build a first useful program. So what we try to do is we use sequence, selection and iteration. And this program here uses this little expression here, which is called its prime. So you can assume what it does. This little function is that it takes a number and it tells you is this number prime or not. We don't have to understand yet what functions do in detail. This will be discussed next week. Just assume this um, function will return true if a number that I give in, like 5, is a prime number and will return false if the number is not prime. Like if I input 4, it will return false. Try to understand what this program will print. And there are a couple of control variables here, so it's not that trivial maybe for you. And I want to encourage you to type the program in a terminal and again experiment a little bit with it before you proceed to the next slide where we conclude what it actually does. Now pause your video and experiment with it and think about it. Okay, so what does this program do? Well, it outputs the first n prime numbers. Okay, so is prime, like we said, checked if a number is a prime number. And in the while loop, we increment, every time this while loop iterates through, we increment the number that we currently have, starting from 1. We start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. But how often do we do that? Well, it depends on this additional variable, which is n. And as long as n is bigger than 0, we, we continue with this iteration. But every time we find a prime, we decrement n by 1. So that's why we print, in fact, 10 prime numbers. There are more efficient algorithms, like the sieve of error totalness, which we actually discussed in the exercises.